Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael the Ark here. Today, we're back out on Call of the Wild with another weapon information video. Today, we're taking a look at the Razorback Light CB60. Now, this is a base game weapon. It comes in this one variation that is a flat black with green accents. It is going to cost you 6,000 credits. It is unlocked at the beginning of the game. It comes in weighing 3.5 units of weight, 0.5 under all of the other compound bows, and the effective range for it, as well as all of the other compound bows, is 21.87 yards or 20 meters. Now, let's run in here and take a look at the stats in here. It's all the way at the bottom here. Again, it's going to cost you 6,000 credits. It comes in weighing 3.5. Accuracy is 33. Recoil is 10. Reload speed is 100. Hip shot, 19. And the peak draw weight for this one is 60. It is another 60-pound bow. Like the Bear Claw here. They are the two 60-pound bows. This portion of the video is going to be shared with all of the compound bow videos. So if you notice it looks the same, it's because it is the same exact footage being shared between all of them. So all of the compound bow are compatible with four different sights and six, six different arrows. Starting with the Bright Sight Rangefinder Bow Sight, which is a digital rangefinder sight, and it is free with the high-tech hunting pack. Uh, it comes in weighing at two units of weight. The Bright Sight single pin sight is going to come in at 0.5 units of weight and is 3,000 credits. This is the exact same as the base sight, except for it glows. Then the Swift Mark three pin bow sight also comes in at 0.5 units of weight and is 12,000 credits. This is a lot like the five pin with the, the three pins representing the zeroing, uh, 40 yards plus the zeroing if you aim with the bottom pin. And I wouldn't bother at all with the, uh, the top pin. You're not going to be, unless you're 40 yards zeroed off of it, then you're not really going to want to use that. And then that was going to come in at 12,000 credits if I didn't say it. The Swift Mark 5 pin bow sight coming in at 0.5 units of weight is going to run you 24,000 credits, and it has five pins, which each of them will be the orange in the middle is going to be uh, the zeroing 20 yards below or above, and then 40 yards below or above are the outer pins. And you can do the same thing with the uh, three pin if you just sort of put an imaginary pin in the middle of those it does seem to actually work about the same so with with the arrows you're gonna have two different variations of each of three grains of arrows so i'll go on and say the tracer arrows are all dlc from the high-tech hunting pack and they are unlocked from the start as soon as you download and install that DLC. That means that you can actually hunt with the 300 grain or the 600 grain before you unlock them in the game if you have the tracers. Uh, they will cost you more, but you can go on and purchase them and hunt with them. Now, we're going to take a look at these two at a time or group them by the same grainage so the 300 grain small game point arrows in the non tracer variety are going to cost you a weapon score or a bow score of 1066 to unlock be able to purchase 10 of them are going to run you 530 credits no unlock score for the tracer version 10 of them are going to run you 690 credits. They both come in at 0 0.06 units of weight. As with all of these arrows, the effective range is 21.87 yards or 20 meters. The expansion, as with all of them, is also going to be zero. 
Now, with the 300 grain, penetration is 10, and the recommended classes is 1 to 2. Moving down to the 420 grain broadhead arrow, these are unlocked at the start of the game. Uh, they are going to run you 700 credits for 10 of them in the non-tracers, and the tracer version will be 910 credits for 10 of them. Now, these are going to come in weighing at 0 0.07 weight, with the penetration 50 and the recommended class 2 to 7. Uh, the bears are class 7, so that's the biggest thing you can hunt with this. And then something like the coyotes or jackals or fox are going to be your class 2, or your Siberian musk deer even are going to be your class 2. So this, the 300 grain, is basically for ducks and rabbits. You also hunt geese and turkeys with them and that's about all you want to hunt with them for anything bigger than that go with the 420 grain now if you're on a map and a bear is the biggest thing on the map the 420 will be fine to take you don't have to take the 600 but it is going to be much better at the class 7 so moving on down to the 600 grain the non-tracer version unlocks at a bow score of 3,554. 10 of these in non-tracer is going to run you 880 credits, while the tracer version, 10 of them, will run you 1,140 credits. Now, these come in at 0 .08 units of weight. The penetration is 90 and the recommended classes is 7 to 9. That's going to be your bears, your moose, your gimsbok, your uh, elk, your bison, and your buffaloes, and your lions as well. All right. Okay, we are out here on the range with the Razorback CB60. Now, <clears throat> just so you can see, this one is 20 yards away, 22, 30, 40, 55, 110. Uh, we're just going to go through them, and I'll show how I hit. This is the 300 grain arrow. It shoots a little bit higher at the actual zeroing distance. It shoots just a little slight bit higher than the 420 wheel. Now, uh, it also, I don't know why, but it seems to shoot ever so slightly uh, closer to center, even with wind, than, than the bear claw does. All right, so we're not going to uh, continue with that. But if we change out to the 420 grain, then it's going to shoot pretty much dead on. Actually, it shoots just ever so slightly below, about the top of where the, uh, the green is, is where you want to aim. So if you're using the bright sight, it does shoot just slightly lower at at that but then if you get a little bit further away at the zero end, i mean if you get a little bit further away from it it's actually going to shoot a little bit lower so the heavier the arrow definitely the the worse drop you're going to have with this one now that is very weird that should have been dead on and there we go so And now we're going to look at the 600 grain arrow. And with the 600 grain arrow, up close, it's going to just barely drop a little bit. A little bit further down than the 420.
Now, if you start out here at 40 yards, you see that's exactly where I put it with the 600 grain. Now, if I go out here to the the 55 yard, it's going to usually drop a little bit further than it normally would, and it's actually going to not be quite near as center as the other one. Uh, I found that with the Razorback, though, that it is, in my opinion, it seems more accurate than the Bear Claw is. So, this is the the Razorback CB60 bow, and it is a flat black with the arms of it, or the wings of it, whatever you want to call it, being sort of like a, a brushed green, or I don't know exactly what they they call that, but it's kind of like a steel brushed green look to it. Um, a very flat green, and then it's got these lime or bright green accents and i love this bow i think it's a really good bow uh coming in at 3.5 pounds or units of weight it is more versatile to take this particular bow than any of the other compound bows if you're going to be up close and personal in the bush with deer so i will see y'all next time if you like my content please don't forget to like subscribe and comment